Un coup de cœur. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. And the floor is once again given to the defense team for Mr. Kiosampon to resume uh, questioning. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Nous nous en étions arrêtés We were speaking euh, before the break about um, um, où, uh, the moment when de la you managed to come out of the pit uh, and you said that you then uh, went to Chitali et hier, and à 11h29, yesterday at 11.29 you said mis, that apparently, and I quote you free translation, et I then walked jour et nuit day and night village. until I Alors, reached the village en, En français, ce n'est pas sorti, mais en Khmer, apparemment, ce que vous avez indiqué, c'est la commune de Chongkros. Et que vous êtes allé donc dans la maison de Tali. Est-ce que vous confirmez que vous avez mis un jour et une nuit pour arriver jusqu'à la maison de Tali Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser à quel endroit cette maison se trouvait His house was located at Chengkru, and and I and I arrived at his house. And did it take you indeed one day and one night to reach his house? Answer: Yes, that is correct. Yes, that is correct. Je vous pose euh, cette question pour euh, être bien précise parce que euh, nous avons différents documents par rapport à euh, votre récit. Et le premier document auquel je voudrais faire référence est le document E3-6695, qui est la partie B euh, de votre formulaire de participation en tant que partie civile qui a été déposé devant le CETC. Ma première question, est-ce que vous vous souvenez que pour pouvoir être partie civile dans ce procès, vous avez eu à remplir, avec certainement l'aide de quelqu'un, un formulaire Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de ça Answer. I had filled in the application report. Donc, dans ce rapport, so uh, dans cette demande, uh, voilà ce qui est indiqué. Uh, uh, C'est uh, donc le document que je viens de citer à l'URN en français. 0113998. 3, 9, 8, 4, 5. ERN en Khmer, 00, 5, 6, 1, 3, 5, 0. Et l'ERN en anglais, 0, 1, 0, 6, 6, 6, 6, 4. Voilà ce qui est indiqué dans euh, ce formulaire. Vers 18 heures, je repris conscience, puis je marchais vers une forêt inondée au bord d'un lac. Je nageais pour me cacher au pied d'un mont en pleine forêt. Une semaine après seulement, j'ai trouvé un bateau pour aller me réfugier dans le village de Somrongsen en me nourrissant uniquement de liseron d'eau dans la jungle. Fin de citation. Donc dans ce formulaire, il n'y a pas de mention de votre séjour à Tali, chez Tali, pardon. Est-ce que vous confirmez que vous êtes bien allé chez Tali juste après avoir repris connaissance Conscious, I uh, continue to walk to Tali's house. 
Vous m'avez confirmé tout à l'heure que vous avez marché un jour et une nuit pour arriver à la maison de Talish. Dans votre déclaration complémentaire E3-5631, qui a été faite avec votre avocate, à la page en français URN 00898-8. ERN en Khmer, Khmer 00897514 et ERN en anglais 00678292. Voilà uh, ce qui est indiqué. Je cite J'ai réussi à sortir de la tombe. C'est en toute fin de page en français. J'ai réussi à sortir de la tombe et j'ai marché pendant une heure jusqu'à ce que j'arrive chez un Vietnamien, M. Tali. Il m'a caché chez lui et sa famille, m'a aidé à soigner mes blessures. Je suis resté là caché pendant environ deux mois et demi. Donc, ma question est la suivante. Hum. Est-ce que la bonne version est bien celle que vous avez uh, indiquée à l'audience, à savoir que vous avez marché un jour et une nuit pour arriver à Tali, ou est-ce que c'est celle de votre déclaration complémentaire que uh, vous auriez mis une heure pour arriver chez Tali before you speak. Avant de parler, attendez que le microphone soit Civil animé. party. I uh, spent uh, one day and one night uh, before I reached Tali's house. Oui. Est-ce que vous savez pourquoi, so, you know dans votre déclaration complémentaire, hein, il y a marqué euh, une heure Dans le formulaire de parti civil hein, que je vous ai tout à l'heure, E3-6695, il y a une mention euh, du village qui sera a priori plutôt une commune de Samrongsen. Est-ce qu'à un moment ou un autre, vous êtes euh, retrouvé dans cette euh, commune de Samrongsen après euh, avoir rejoint After Tali having, ou en allant uh, rejoindre Tali. Uh, 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 I had a letter from him allowing me to uh, go to Vietnam. So I uh, spent uh, seven days in Samrongsang, said the civil party. Alors, il y a quelque chose que je ne well, comprends pas bien, Sam Rongsang, c'est que Where is Sam de ce que vous avez dit à l'audience, en rescapé de la fosse, vous allez directement chez Tali. Et moi, j'ai compris que vous restiez deux mois et demi chez Tali. À quel moment est-ce que vous vous retrouvez à Samrongsen When I uh, got the letter of permission uh, from uh, Dali, I was able to uh, reach uh, Samrong Sain. Donc, si je comprends bien, Samrong Sain, c'est quand vous allez uh, en route pour uh, prendre un bateau, c'est ça You were on your way to uh, catch a boat, is that correct mais j'avais compris de votre déposition hier à l'audience que vous aviez pris 
d'abord le même bateau que la famille de Thali et que c'est depuis un, ce bateau que vous avez ensuite été transféré sur le ferry. Est-ce que j'ai mal compris Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser I stayed uh, at Tali's house for more than two months. And Tali was afraid that there would be a trouble uh, for his family. And in fact, there were uh, eight members uh, within Tali family. And uh, because of uh, he, because of the fact that he was afraid of the trouble happened in his family, he told me to uh, go to Samrang Sand before I uh, could be on board on the ferry to Vietnam. Oui, mais hier, yes, lorsque vous avez répondu course, aux questions, on a compris que vous aviez pris le bateau de Thalys. Et là, si je comprends votre déposition, c'est à Samarongsen que vous avez pris un ferry. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer ce, ce point que, que je ne comprends pas bien Actually, seven days uh, after en fait, I uh, arrived at Sam Rang Sain, Tali uh, called me Tali back uh, uh, to be on boat before I uh, got on another ferry. Et Tali, vous dites qu'il vous a donné Tali, un courrier pour euh, une sorte de laisser passer, c'est ce que je dois comprendre. Laisser passer. Is that so? He uh, was uh, simply a, uh, an ordinary citizen in uh, Kruo. J'ai compris tout à l'heure, là, yes, vous avez parlé d'un courrier que Tali vous aurait remis ou vous aurait envoyé. De quel courrier s'agit-il they wanted to go to Vietnam. So he said that there were eight members of his family that uh, wanted to go to Vietnam. And as I said, I was hiding in the boat together with eight members of a Tali family before I uh, was able to board the ferry uh, in front of the uh, Royal Parade, that is the uh, tribury. J'ai bien compris ce point. Le point sur lequel je voudrais une clarification, c'est ce courrier que vous dites avoir reçu de Tali. De quel courrier s'agissait-il Vous dites avoir eu une lettre. The letter was issued for Tali's family so that uh, the family was able to leave for Vietnam. OK. Um, Fine. Et vous m'avez indiqué que Tali était un citoyen ordinaire et vous m'avez indiqué que c'est un Vietnamien. Est-ce que nous sommes d'accord Et le courrier euh, dont vous venez euh, de parler était donc un courrier permettant à l'ensemble de la famille euh, de retourner au Vietnam. Cela voulait dire que Tali et sa famille avaient fait une demande en ce sens. Est-ce bien cela Oui, c'est ce que je dois comprendre. 
didn't know at the time, but uh, the Lee uh, made a request uh, so that uh, the family could uh, go home. He got a letter uh, to go back home in Vietnam, and I was able to hide in his boat. Dans le document, euh, in votre déclaration complémentaire, E3 bar 5631, ERN en français 00898973, ERN en anglais 00678293, et URN en Khmer, 00879751515. Voilà ce qui est indiqué au sujet de la manière dont a été négociée la traversée uh, du ferry. Voilà ce que vous dites. Le, gouver le gouvernement vietnamien et les Khmer Rouges Rouge avaient convenu d'échanger du riz et du sel contre la traversée des Vietnamiens en toute sécurité jusqu'au Vietnam. Nous devions rester à proximité du bateau. Nous n'avions pas le droit d'aller n'importe où. Toutes les barques et tous les bateaux devaient faire escale au marché de Nick Long pendant trois jours. Fin de citation. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez so euh, avoir dit cela à votre that, avocat uh, What I recall is that I, at one time, I arrived at Nek Lung. And during that time, the Khmer Anka said a civil party discussed with uh, the uh, Vietnamese Anka about the matter. I uh, did not know at the time how the uh, battering process uh, was uh, going on. And then I was called to board the uh, Vietnamese uh, ferry. And I was told that uh, my life was spared because of uh, the, uh, for the, because of the uh, bags of rice and salt. Interpreter correction, it was Niak Lung, not Nick Lung. Nick Lung. Nick Lung. Uh, c'est indiqué dans cette déclaration qu'il s'agit d'un marché. Est-ce que vous connaissiez ce marché auparavant so did you know this market before? I had, I had not known the Nhat Lương before that time. Le ferry dans lequel vous avez embarqué, est-ce que vous savez si c'était un ferry qui avait l'habitude de transporter des personnes ou si c'était un ferry de marchandises I did not remember at the time whether the, the Vietnamese ferry carried only prey to not uh, human beings. I uh, was only uh, thinking how to uh, survive at the time. Un dernier point sur regarding votre déclaration E3 bar 5631, vous avez uh, confirmé à mon confrère hier que uh, c'est un document qui vous avait été uh, relu. Est-ce que uh, vous avez pu so were you able éventuellement to corriger to les inexactitudes uh, s'il y en avait dans la traduction qui vous a été faite Answer. I do not want to make any correction. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. Mon confrère Kong Samun a quelques uh, brefs questions pour terminer. Mon confrère Kong Samun a quelques brefs questions pour terminer. Mon confrère Kong Samun a quelques brefs questions pour terminer. Mon confrère Kong Samun a quelques brefs questions pour terminer. Mon confrère Kong Samun a Kong Samun, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Civil Party. I have a brief questions. Starting first with the aerial bombing, have you ever heard or did you ever hear about the area bombing 
1975, when you were in Kampong Leng district. Once again, did you ever hear the aerial uh, bombing or the uh, rockets uh, were being launched at that time? Answer. At the time, I knew that uh, there was uh, aerial or bombing or rockets uh, were being launched. Uh, there were airplanes uh, over in the sky, and I was hiding in the uh, trenches. Question. How often did it happen? Answer. I only knew at the time that uh, there, there were aerial bombings uh, from time to time uh, on uh, my village, and uh, I did not know what happened in other villages. Question. I would like to know uh, whether the aerial bombing happened uh, very quite often in your village. Answer. There was uh, two times. There was there were two times of aerial bombings uh, within the, yeah, my village. Il y a eu deux occasions de bombardement aérien dans mon village. Council, thank you. What about other villages? Did uh, aerial bombing Merci. happen Qu in other villages? Y avait-il des bombardements aériens dans d'autres villages? Answer. I heard the sounds of explosion, and whenever we heard that sound, we would resort, it, resort to the trenches. Question. At that time, did you know how the administration process was conducted? Était mené. Uh, done uh, by the United Front and uh, the other organizations. Fait par le Front Uni et les autres organizations. Answer. I was young at the time. I did not know about the matter. I was so afraid of uh, military at the time. Council, thank you. La défense, merci. Concerning the closing of the cadres and uh, officials within your village, uh, how did you notice uh, the differences of uh, clothing? Les vêtements des cadres et des villageois dans votre village. Quelle Answer. I did not know about that matter. Je ne savais rien de cela. Council, thank you. In relation to document A3 slash 56 31 on page 1 in all three languages, I heard uh, you testified that you left uh, Rusei Bongkuich and arrived at uh, Kandal village in Kampung Chinang province. But in the document I quoted, you stated that uh, you left uh, Rusei Bongkuich uh, for Da village at Kongkai a mountain, which uh, wasn't of your statements uh, was correct. Laquelle de ces déclarations est exacte? Answer. The the statement that I said I left uh, Rusei Bangkou to Da village uh, was correct. Council. Now coming back to Lang Tai. Could you tell the court the uh, physical feature of uh, that Lang Tai? Uh, what was the color of Lang Tai and how large was it? 
quelle était la couleur de longue taille et quelle était sa taille. Answer. I did not remember Je ne m'en souviens pas. At that time, I heard uh, my parents say about a long tie and long tie was a uh, prideless uh, what uh, they said long tie c'était de l'eau qui n'avait pas de prix council you have never seen the, that a long tie a document Vous is that correct vu ce document de long tie, your exact. parents only told uh, that they Heat the lung tie in your family. Is that correct? Answer: Yes, that is correct. Council. You made a mention on many occasions La défense, vous avez à plusieurs reprises that uh, you pled uh, your village, you, pl you pled to Kampong Leng. You also testified that Tali had told you that uh, Vietnamese uh, were allowed to go back to Vietnam. Vietnam. Did uh, Tali at that time Tali, only tell you about uh, that information or was there uh, a wide information? Seulement dit à vous cela ou est-ce que l'information était plus vaste? Answer. At the time, uh, Tali told me about uh, that uh, matter. À ce moment-là, Tali m'a parlé de cela. Counsel, did Tali also tell you about the registration process before you all could manage uh, to board the ferry in Phnom Penh? Avant que vous ne preniez place à bord du ferry à Phnom Penh? Answer, no. Réponse He non. did not. Question. Question. So, this means that uh, Vietnamese uh, people were allowed to board the ferry uh, at the tributary. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Counsel, thank you. Upon your arrival at uh, the tributary, did you at that time uh, come uh, on land before you boarded uh, the ferry? Answer. At that time, uh, Tali boat uh, was approaching the ferry, and uh, later on, we got onto the ferry. Council, can you once again tell the court about uh, other boats? Were there any other boats uh, close to the ferry? There were many boats next to the ferry, but I could not say who uh, the boats belonged to. Look at the Benchia Question. Can you tell Question. us the specific location where you boarded the ferry, that is, at the tributary? And uh, I know the location, but je I do not know what it is called. It is right at the island uh, juste where the tributary exists. Il y a, où la fluent, où il y a la Question. Question. So from what you said, the ferry 
had uh, next uh, to an island, Donc but uh, not on the uh, riverside uh, opposite the Donc, royal palace. Pas, am I correct? Uh, en face du palais royal. Answer: Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. Question. Question. After boarding the ferry, how many people did you see? À bord de ce ferry, combien de personnes avez-vous vu? Answer: There were many people, and I did not count. However, I could only give you my estimates. There were about 50 or 60 people on the ferry, and after I bought it, the ferry left. Question. Now about the ferry itself. Mais le ferry lui-même. Can you tell the chamber the size of the ferry? That is the length and the width or the height. La hauteur, la largeur de ce ferry. And uh, Réponse. I uh, cannot recall the non, length non, or the width or de, the depth de, of the ferry de, at all. Mesure, enfin, de, de, ne me souviens pas du tout de la longueur ni de la Can hauteur. Can you give us at least a rough estimate size of the ferry? Question. Peux vous nous donner une idée de sa taille? Then, uh, Le Patti, please observe the microphone. Je vais attendre que votre micro soit allumé. Answer. Réponse. It is about the size of the sand dredger every day that is uh, being used. Uh, de Question, la can you tell us a little bit uh, more whether it has le sable. a wall on the size Question. or whether nous en it dire was plus a ferry, a passenger ferry or it was a kind of ferry that is used uh, to tow a ship? Uh, For example, a ch chalutier qui remorque les bateaux. And so there was a roof at uh, the back, at the back side of the ferry, but the front part une partie of the ferry couverte was not covered. À l'arrière, mais la partie. Question. Did the ferry, ferry bear any flag? I Question. understand that you cannot read the Khmer. However, did you drapeau? observe uh, if there was any flag or a, a Cambodian flag flying Cambodian, on that exemple? ferry? Answer. Réponse. I just uh, fled uh, from the date. From my death, and of course, I did not pay attention if there was any flag flying. Question. Upon your arrival at Nat Lung, you stated that you were ordered to get off the ferry, and then salt and rice was transported onto the ferry. Can you tell us the number of bags, or at least uh, the, nous dire the approximate une weight idée, of uh, the combined salt and rice? De la quantité de sac qu'il y avait, ou peut-être quel était le poids and, uh, de no, ce riz et de ce sac? I, uh, cannot recall that. Non. As I said, we were ordered to get off uh, dire, the ferry, then there was a head count, and then we boarded another ferry and left. Question. Question. Did you see the representatives from the two ferry, uh, ferries, that is the uh, Cambodian and the Vietnamese authorities, hold any discussion or exchange any uh, documents at that time? And so, no, I did not see that. Conversation ou ont échangé les documents. Réponse, non, je n'ai pas vu cela. Question. Question. Uh, again, when you were at uh, Net Lung, Toujours à Nhat Lung. Did you see any other uh, Vietnamese boats uh, which just arrived in order to get on to the ferry, uh, leaving Vietnamien for Vietnam? Sur lesquels les gens devaient embarquer pour partir au Vietnam? 
answer. Uh, yes, there were other boats Réponse which just oui, arrived. However, I cannot give you the exact arrivé. number of boats. Je there could be between 20 to 30 boats which had arrived, which arrived after I had arrived. Qui sont arrivés après que moi je sois arrivé. Question. Question. Those who came by boats and that you saw at the net loom also boarded the, the ferry together with you. Am I correct in saying that? Dans à bord du ferry, tout comme vous. Ai-je raison? And uh, no, I uh, did not see that. I saw non, ce those que people vu. on the boat uh, were talking amongst themselves, and then I got on the uh, other ferry and left. Ensuite, je suis monté à bord de l'autre ferry et nous sommes partis. Question. And when you arrived Question. in uh, Vietnam, Lorsque vous can êtes you uh, Vietnam, tell the court uh, where you lived vous nous dire and under whose vous avez vécu uh, administration? Qui vous supervisait? President, Mr. Bopati, please observe the uh, microphone. Monsieur la partie civile, veuillez attendre qu'on allume Civil votre party, micro. We, la partie civile. Uh, uh, rushed there, that is, at a school, Nous avons été dans une école. I was at that school Nous for seven days. J'y suis resté sept jours. Then they signed a uh, letter Et or something. Signé then une I was sent to Tokyo. Et été and I remained there. Et c'est là que je suis resté. Question. Question. The location where you live. To was it a kind Là of a concentration camp, uh, or camp did you live mingled with other uh, Vietnamese? Où viviez-vous avec la population vietnamienne? And so no, réponse. we did not live mingled with non, the local Vietnamese there. We lived in the camp. Local, nous vivions dans un camp. Question. Question. Did you live there until 1982, or were you relocated elsewhere? Answer. Réponse. Frankly speaking, I was by myself. I did not je have my parents écoutez, or my uh, seul, family members. Pas de, so parents, I worked as de ma a, a laborer, tending cattle to earn a living. Je du bétail. Question. My question to you is that did you remain question. living non, in that camp si from 1975 until 1982, 1982 or did you move to live to elsewhere during these years? Ailleurs pendant ces années -là? Answer. I Réponse. lived in the camp, but I went out of the camp to Mais work as a laborer to earn a living to uh, tend uh, water Et buffaloes. De buffle. Question. Question. Did you tend it water buffalo and did you return to uh, sleep at the, in the camp at night? Dans le, dans le camp? Answer. I tended the water buffalo uh, for a year, and I stayed at the an owner's house, and I received 20 tau of rice and some pairs of clothes uh, during uh, this period of one year. Question. Question. Did you see or meet any other Vietnamese who were sent vous, from Cambodia to live in that camp while you were there? Cambodge qui vivait dans ce camp pendant que vous y étiez. Answer. Réponse. I attended water buffaloes and lived at the owner's house. Je vivais dans la maison du propriétaire. And there were Vietnamese who had lived there before I arrived, and they said that Vietnamese who arrived from Cambodia were sent to live in different provinces within Vietnam. Question. Question. Sir, based on what uh, you just stated, there were other uh, people dire, arriving at the camp from Cambodia before your arrival, qui était venu am dans I correct? Camp en provenance du Cambodge avant votre arrivée. Answer. Réponse. 
No, I was non. the first group who Je arrived. faisais partie du premier groupe. I was placed in that camp and that was the first batch. J'ai été mis dans ce camp et c'était le premier groupe à y arriver. Question. Question. So you were the first batch to arrive in that camp and later on there were other batches who arrived in that camp. Quand et par la suite d'autres groupes sont right? venus. Est-ce bien le cas? Answer yes, réponse. that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Thank you and Mr. President, Maître I don't Consent. have any further questions Merci. for this civil party. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai plus de questions à poser à la partie civile. And Mr. Trinyang Jet. Monsieur. You may now have an opportunity to make a victim's impact statement if any concerning the crimes which are alleged si against Petro Accused. And harm suffered by you during the Democratic Cambodia, that is from 17 April 1975 to 6 January 1979, and which resulted in your civil party application to claim collective and moral reparations for physical, material, or mental injuries. Reparations for the sufferings and the prejudices that you have suffered. Direct consequences of those crimes. De ces crimes reprochés. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Civil Party, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. President, please uh, repeat your, uh, your, your last phrase. Uh, Monsieur le Président, excusez-moi, pouvez-vous répéter ce que vous venez de dire? You, as a Civil Party, you are entitled to make a statement about your suffering civil, that you encountered during the Democratic Cambodia period and which led you to file a civil party application. Sur vous en tant que and uh, those harms could be physical, material or mental subies, and which are the direct consequences of crimes inflicted upon you personally physiques, and which were related to the crimes de alleged against the two accused, that is, Nunchia and Kiel Sampol. For the period between 17 April 1975 to the 6 January 1979, and if you wish to make that statement of suffering before the chamber, you may proceed. Civil party. La partie civile. I'd like to put the questions to them. J'aimerais leur poser des questions. For example, questions. that I suffered from the loss of my parents. J'ai souffert de la perte de mes parents. My family members. Les membres and that de ma famille. I am by myself with uh, my head injury. Aujourd'hui, je suis et je and suis seul for them, avec les, la blessure que j'ai reçue. If they were in reçu. my position, ma how place, would they feel? Comment se sentiraient-ils? That is the question, Mr. President. Voilà la question que je souhaite leur poser, President, Mr. President. So you actually don't wish to make an impact statement, but uh, you wish to put uh, the questions uh, to the civil party, as you just said. Am I correct? Civil party, party yes, civil. Uh, that is correct, oui, Mr. President. Exact, le President. President, thank you, Mr. Jing Yang Chad. And the Chamber wishes to inform you that Merci. after Monsieur. ascertaining the positions of both Le accused on 8 January 2015 regarding the exercise of the right to remain silent, la souhaite vous informer, Monsieur, the que la Chamber position notes des deux that the two accused maintains their express de position le silence, qui a été établi le 8 janvier 2015. unless and until such time the Chamber is expressly informed otherwise qu'il est entendu By que la position des deux accusés demeure inchangée, sauf notification contraire de leur part ou, par, ou de celle It de leur avocat. C'est donc à ceci qu'il appartient d'informer la Chambre de manière manner, opportune et effective. Should the accused resolve to waive the right to remain silent du fait souhaitent and be willing to, le silence, to respond to qu sont questions by the bench or relevant parties at any stage of the uh, proceedings? À tout stade de la procédure. 
As of today, the chamber is not jour, informed that the co-accused have changed their express position, de position and agreed to provide their responses to the questions. Par lequel For that reason, à à des the chamber does not have the authority to compel the accused to respond to your questions, and that is pursuant to question. the ETC internal rules as well as the uh, law des CETC and Mr. Jinyang Chet, the chamber wishes to uh, thank you and I notice the national lead co-lawyer on his feet. Mr. President, I Maître Picang. had a discussion le with the uh, Council for Civil Parties, Lima Nguyen, and it seems uh, that Civil Party does not understand Et about his entitlements to make an impact statement regarding his suffering. Faire une déclaration sur les préjudices. And lawyer for Civil Party, Lima Nguyen, Maître would like uh, to seek your permission to give him the opportunity again de la permission de la to speak de about à nouveau donner his à la impact civile, statement and la before that she wishes to have three minutes to explain the uh, procedure to this civil party and, and I believe this is important and this is the last la opportunity for this civil party to participate, participate in this proceeding. President, Le President. The civil party will not be allowed to make any statement as I have put the uh, opportunities twice to the civil party, but he declined to take it. And Mr. Civil Party, the chamber wishes to thank you for your uh, time and testimony as a civil party before this court. Your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. You may now be excused from the courtroom and return to your residence or wherever you wish to, to return. We wish you all the very best. Court officer, please, in collaboration with uh, Wisu, make necessary transportation arrangements for the civil party to return to. And the chamber now proceeds with hearing testimony of a another witness, that is through TCW945. And court officer, please answer the witness to TCW945 into the courtroom.
Sutray Lok Sasai. President, good morning, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. Comment vous appelez-vous? And uh, Mr. Witness, uh, please wait le témoin, till the microphone becomes oper operational. That is when you see the allumé, red light at the tip of the microphone so that your voice uh, can go through the interpretation system dans le where your voice, que les your statement will be interpreted into en English effet, and French. Ce que vous dites so again, est what is your name, en Mr. Witness? Monsieur le témoin, comment vous appelez-vous? Witness, my name is Prum Sarun. Prum Sarun. President, thank you, Mr. Prum Sarun. Merci, Monsieur Prum Sarun. And when were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? I was born in the month of April, that is on Tuesday. Un jeudi. President. Uh, which year uh, en you were born? Can you tell the court which year you uh, were born, en Mr. Année de Witness? Monsieur le témoin. Witness. 55. 1955. Ou plutôt, Question. 55. Were you born in 1952 or 1952? 55 or 1942? Because in your written record of interview, you stated that you were born on the 1st of January 1942. Which one is correct? Lequel? Answer. It was in 1942. C'était en 1942. Question. Question. And how old are you this year? Cette année? Answer. Réponse. I am 74 years old. J'ai 74 ans. President, thank you. And uh, where were you born? Question. Merci. Où êtes-vous né? And so it was at uh, Krapuchung village, dans le village de Phnom Sampo commune, commune de Phnom Banan Sampo district. district Question. De Banan. And where is your current address? Question. Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? And so réponse. It is at Krapuchung village. Je suis village, village de Krapuchung, le même village. Currently, I still live in my uh, native village. J'habite toujours dans mon village natal. Question. Question. And what is your current occupation? Et quelle est votre profession actuelle? Answer. Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je suis riziculteur. Question. Question. And what are the names of your parents? Comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer. My father is Bo Prum and my mother is Sin Pung. Question, what is the name of your wife and how many children Question. do you have? Comment s'appelle votre épouse? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer, I réponse. have seven children. J'ai sept enfants. Question, and what is your wife's Question. name? Question, et votre épouse? Comment s'appelle-t-elle? President, I refer to your wife. What is your wife's Votre name? Épouse. Comment s'appelle-t-elle? Answer, réponse. my wife is Niam Nguyen. Mon épouse s'appelle Niam Nguyen. President, Mr. Prum Sarum, Sarum, the greffier made an oral report this morning that to your best knowledge you are not related to the two accused, Nguyen Thi or Kiu Sun Pon or to any of the accusés, civil parties admitted in this case, des parties civiles constituées dans ce dossier. is that information accurate? Yes, exact. And so I am not related to, to them. Je n'ai aucun lien avec eux. Question. 
question. What I mean is that uh, are you related to them uh, by blood je, je or by law? Si or in relation to anyone who had any dealing with uh, this court? Les accusés ou toute personne uh, qui a à voir avec ce tribunal? And uh, no, Réponse. I am not. No. Question. question: Have you taken an oath before your appearance? Avant d'entrer dans la salle d'audience. And uh, I took an oath yesterday. J'ai prêté serment hier. Rest then, thank you, Mr. Prom Sarun. The Chamber would like Monsieur now to inform you of your Chambre rights and obligations as a witness. Your rights. As a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self incrimination. Your obligations. As a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, en tant que témoin, vous êtes tenu you must uh, respond to any questions toutes les questions by the bench or relevant parties, parties, except where your response or comment to those questions, questions ne vous incrimine. may incriminate you, as the chamber has just informed Comme you of their rights as a witness. You must tell the truth vous devez dire that la you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly directement. about any event or occurrence relevant to the question that a bench or the party posed to you. And Mr. Prom Sarun, have you provided an interview or any interview to the investigators of the Office of the Court Investigating Judges? If so, how many times, si oui, when and fois, where? Answer. Réponse. I was interviewed once in my village. Une fois dans mon village. There were investigators who came to uh, speak to me, sont venus me parler about that Dao and his children who were killed at Phnom Sampo. Sampo. President, and Question. do you recall when that interview was made? Quand cela a eu lieu? Answer. Réponse. It happened uh, at the year of the liberation. C'était l'année de la libération. President, I refer here to the year of your interview. De l'entretien. Do you recall which year, 2017, that you were interviewed? Vous avez été entendu par les enquêteurs en 2000 Answer. No, Réponse. I cannot recall it. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas. President, uh, that is all right. Le président, ce n'est pas grave. And before your appearance, have you read, Avant dans reviewed, cette or have your interview, you your interview read out to you? That is the interview that you provided to the investigators of the office of the court investigating judges at your native village in order to refresh your memory. Et ce, afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. And uh, I forget it all. It happened uh, quite a long time ago. President, le président. Uh, Mr. Witness, do you know how to read? Monsieur le témoin, savez-vous lire? Answer, Réponse. I can read, but now I lire. have difficulty uh, reading. Mais j'ai des problèmes de vue maintenant. Question. Regarding your interview, Question. did anyone read aloud your written record of interview to you before you appeared today? Votre For example, yesterday somebody read it aloud to you exemple, or not? Que vous lu? And so my wife read it to me, mon, mon but me I forget it all. Mais tout I don't recall it. Je ne souviens pas. 
President. Le président. Thank you, Mr. Merci, M. Promsaron. The time is now for our lunch break. Le moment uh, est venu de partir uh, déjeuner. Break now and resume at Nous allons donc suspendre le débat et nous reprendrons à 13h30. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room reserved for witnesses and civil parties during the lunch break and invite him back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel should have set the detectives and pawn to the waiting room downstairs and have him returned to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30 the court is now in recess.